I knew that this program is a mix of styles. I did not realize how much of a mix. <laughs> but I'm very excited to continue our journey back in time to 100 years to Chopin and continue the celebration of his 200th birthday. And you will hear one of his etudes. He wrote a total of 27 etudes, which are technical pieces. And at the time that he wrote them, they were not accepted widely by the pianist or the audience. They were considered to be too difficult. In fact, the critic wrote that he recommends a surgeon who should stand by the pianist to untangle their fingers when they play them. So you will hear the etude number 12 from Opus 10, which is also known as a revolutionary
My name is Joe Powers, and I'm from Portland, down south. And uh, uh, let me let me just tell you, this is not any just any harmonica. This is a special one. This is called a chromatic. It's got a button on the end, and when I push it, uh, something explodes somewhere. No, <laughs> this when I when I blow and draw, I get the white notes from the piano. When I push the button in, I get the black notes. Let me tell you a little bit about my friend here at the piano. We're going to play a song together. We met in Argentina about three years ago. I was down there recording my tango album, Amor de Tango. And since then we've performed in three continents together. We're going to make it a fourth this summer when we play in Paris. Uh, she is the leader of Tokyo's premier tango or orchestra, orchestra. Orquesta Aurora. She just got here yesterday from Tokyo. Please join me in giving a warm welcome to Naoko. <laughs> you may not have guessed, but the harmonica is a perfect instrument for the tango. <laughs> yeah, I'm not joking. And we're going to play a tango piece right now. Actually, uh, it's a special kind of tango. A little happier than, than your average tango. A little faster. It's called a milonga. And this is called nocturna.
ago, I played the first Seattle 10 Grants. The Benner Royal Hall is my first time ever on a big stage, and I'm really happy to be back here again. Thank you for supporting 10 Grants for so like for kids like me to have the opportunity to learn and perform. I will play Fantasy Impromptu by Frederick Chopin. Some of you may remember the B-section melody from the Broadway show and movie, The Dolly Sisters. I'm always chasing rainbows. Oops, I better go play now.
Thank you and good night. <laughs> Hi, I'm David Lons. It's nice to uh, be here in front of a hometown crowd. And Mom, I'm, I hope you're happy with your seats this year. <laughs> I'm going to take you back to 1967. It was just an amazing year for uh, rock and roll. And probably at the very top of that list, if you were going to make a list of your favorite 1967 releases, would be Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Let's hear it for the Beatles. Come on. Now. Well, if you recall, Sir Paul McCartney wrote a little ditty for this very hot meter maid named Rita. And uh, my latest recording is called Liverpool Reimagining the Beatles. And I tried to reframe Paul's piece present day. Try to imagine Rita. She's retired. <laughs> Not so hot. She's cooled down. I still wanted to retain the lightheartedness and the, uh, she's a bit more refined and, and I wrapped this all up in my own patented heavy mellow style of playing. <laughs> so here is uh, my rendition from my lyrical recording of Lovely Rita.